briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2015, a noteworthy case known as Geraldo v. City of Hollywood, Florida, was heard by the United States District Court for the Southern District of Florida. Interestingly, the case brought the concept of qualified immunity into focus. This doctrine protects government officials, notably here, police officers, from being sued unless they violate clearly established constitutional rights. The looming legal battle began when Christian Fernando Geraldo filed a suit against the city of Hollywood and three of its police officers. Geraldo argued that the officers had violated his constitutional rights during an arrest. Urbanely, the defendant swung back, dismissing his claims as baseless and filing a motion for summary judgment, a request for the court to rule in their favor without conducting a full trial. The court, weighing the facts on both sides, took a meticulous approach to the investigation of the various claims. Among the key issues under evaluation were whether the officers had a valid probable cause for Geraldo's arrest, whether there were grounds to see intentional gender discrimination, and lastly, whether the city of Hollywood had an operative policy or custom that directly contributed to the harm inflicted on Geraldo. The court navigated their judgment with precision, ruling in favor of the defendant's request for summary judgment and essentially dismissing all of Geraldo's claims. The officer's case of qualified immunity was strengthened with the court finding that there was indeed probable cause for Geraldo's arrest. Furthermore, there was not adequate evidence suggesting intentional gender discrimination or First Amendment retaliation, leaving the defendants untarnished by liability. As a result, the case was duly dismissed. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.